is my fourth year in a row traveling this side. So in the summers, I do manage to come for a month, month and a half. What we share and we experience through our lives is not very different. Till we look at the world with differences in our own minds and in our own thoughts, we will always see a variation and a contradiction in this world. Meaning that there will always be differences that we'll notice and we'll see first. But beyond the differences, beyond the contradiction, if we make a sincere effort to know ourselves and know the other person, know another individual, then you begin to see that there are truly no differences. I keep on telling people wherever I go that sometimes what happens is that we get so conditioned by who we are and what we want that we forget the purpose of life itself. You know? Life itself is the greatest journey that one undertakes. You know? From the moment you are born and the moment that you will leave this world and you will continue your journey, all your experiences, all your states of mind, your states of emotions are basically connected to your own experiences, your own life. If I set out in my purpose to seek something and I keep on telling people, oh, I already know this, I already know this, then true seeking does not manifest in life. That means the mindset has to be changed first and certain foundations through which we perceive the world has to be eliminated first in order for the true seeking to arise. Because true seeking and truly in the true word of the sense can only arise when you accept that you do not know. When you accept that I do not know certain things of life, then only the true desire will manifest, the perfect bhav will manifest to know, which we call jigyasa, janani ki icha, meaning a feeling with the pure desire to know and nothing more. So what is possible, focus on that. What you can achieve through your experiences, focus on that. Rest everything, whether you know or don't know, is inconsequential. Yeah.